Okay, <laughs> I should title this video the uh, the things I do when I'm bored, but um, I don't think that would get very many hits. So I'm gonna title this bending. I don't know something along the lines of bending plexiglass for a timing belt cover. So uh, I got this from another guy that I bought some parts for uh, for my car. Bought bought some parts from for my car. And his timing belt snapped, belt blew through the cover, uh, it was cracked all, you know, like crazy. So I had the idea to cut a hole here, not only to see my timing belt gears, but so I could put four LEDs in here. Um, and they're not going to fall out. They're nice and, um, they're nice and whatever. Uh, I, I thought really hard about how I'm going to put these in. So basically what I did is I just slid the, the, uh, the two legs, the anode and the cathode sides of the, of the, uh, the LED through the, um, through the cover completely, just drilled some tiny holes just so that I could slide them in. And on the outside, so there's only four of them, one, two, three, four. On the outside, wired them in series, which basically means the positive of one is connected to the negative of the other one, and it goes down the line in series so that you have them all connected in a string and what that does is they all they each pull three between 3.2 and 3.5 volts is what they're rated at um, when they're all connected together that would be uh, the car would be supplying say 13 and a half to 14 volts so it'll be within whatever what is 3.2 times 4 is uh, 12.8 so between 3.2 to 3.5 volts a piece would be maybe between 12.8 and 13 and a half volts somewhere around there but yeah so I'm gonna have lights behind the cover shining on my little HKS time gears and then uh, so my little dilemma almost dilemma is bending plexiglass to fit this because this this piece on this side of the cover is flat this is fine this needs to be curved so I was looking up online how to bend plexiglass, like the correct way to do it, and I've separated uh, the lens. If you've separated the lens from a, a light housing or looked into it, like a headlight or a tail light, um, you basically just put the lens in the oven for you know at a, at a certain degrees for a certain period of time, and then you can uh, separate the glue. Well, it's kind of the same process, but it's a higher temperature because in, this time you want to actually warp the plastic. So. Where did I put mine? So here's my plexiglass. I have my little five minute timer ready to go because that's how long it's got to be in. Set my oven to, this is all from an eHow article. So I set my oven to um, 250 degrees and you preheat, I've just preheated a piece of metal in there. You can use a tray, but I don't want to use a tray that I'm going to put brownies on. I don't want brownies tasting like acrylic. I mean, if you like brownies that taste like acrylic, then that's, hey, go for it. Do that, that's, that's all you. Um, but I mean, this is on wax paper, so I guess technically I could use a brownie tray. But anyway, I, I have a sheet of aluminum in there um, that I've been using for other stuff. This is on wax paper, so I don't, I've never done this before, so I don't know if it's going to stick to the aluminum or not. But so basically, 250 degrees in the oven on a flat metal surface, brownie tray, another piece of metal, whatever. I'm preheating the metal too, so I can just put the plastic straight on it. Heat it up for five minutes, take it out. And then I have this mold here that I made. And my leather electrician gloves uh, should be pretty good against the heat. I don't know. I don't have any other gloves to use. I'm not really a glove guy, but if you could see this, I've made this match the contour. This is a DVD tray from an old DVD player. Uh, it doesn't work anymore. So I've just bent it carefully to where whenever I pull the plastic out while it's hot, I can stick it on here with the wax paper against the metal and mold the plastic to the shape of this easily and then whenever it's uh, whenever it's cooled off hopefully it will fit this uh, uh, the curvature of that uh, the DVD tray so sacrifice a DVD player <laughs> maybe your wife won't get too mad at you um, especially if she doesn't know like oh honey I'm sorry it, it broke I have to you know yeah, I had to <laughs> had to use it so I can make something for my car you know She's like I just used it last night uh, well, like it broke um, after you used it, so that would be the dialogue between you and your wife. But basically, this is it: um, wax paper on the plastic, 250 degrees for five minutes. 
So I'm putting this on the on the tray right now. Yeah. And it's kind of bending on its own already. Um, and I hope this works. Five minutes counting down. It's like a MacGyver show. I've got five minutes to figure out this. So I'm just gonna, while that's heating up, I'm just gonna make sure that this metal matches the contour of this still, so I don't want any little problems whenever I pull it out of the oven. Uh, yeah, so that's, this, is, this is gonna be cool. I'm hoping this works. Um, nothing else I can really talk about, really. I, I talked about the uh, wire and the LEDs in series and been in a piece of metal just to think ahead think of everything that any little problems you're going to come across before you actually do this because uh this stuff cools fast i've been it with a lighter before um just playing around with it and it bends fast but if you get it too hot it does tend to bubble up so anyway um two seconds one second and then it's done i'll let it be tits hard to oh gloves <clears throat> got to put my gloves on. This is the glove putting on dramatic black screen because I set the camera down. Alright, gloves are on. Plastic is still flat. Out of the oven you go. Burner, even with the leather gloves, gets hot in about five seconds. More to the touch than you want it to. Okay, how do I do this with one hand? Man, man, I've just I just set it down on the uh, on the metal, and it's already like it's already bending to the uh, to the form that I want it to. Um, ignore the sauce spots on the stove that <laughs> that is um, computer generated it was added in during the editing of this uh, this video so that these soft spots don't exist um, on my actual stove okay so I'm touching this and I still feel the heat kind of coming through the glove a little bit but we're good Don't need the oven on anymore. And you know, like it, in thinking about this now, I could bend this metal to the form that I want the uh, the thing, whatever it is that I'm making, and put the plexiglass on it as a flat piece, and it will just it would cave in, and automatically um, the heat would be dispersed. Like this would already be hot. Um, so I have this curved piece in the oven would already be hot, but then this has paint on it. I don't want paint in the oven, so. Yeah, maybe that's a bad idea. Curve another piece of metal. Curve your brownie pan. So you'll make um, brownies that are the same curve as your timing belt cover. This looks good. I think it's going to work out well. <laughs> I, should, I should have a cooking show with cooking plastic instead of uh, the stuff that Martha Stewart makes. Does she? No, Martha Stewart doesn't cook, does she? I don't know. Whatever. Um, I don't even know if Martha Stewart cooks, really. Alright. Gloves just came off. Gloves are off. It's on now. So this is cool enough to pick up. I mean, I, I, um, since I stopped the video and started the back, I think I've waited like two minutes, something like that. Uh, Come on, one-handed. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'm gonna have to polish that. It's got some weird goo stuff, but so I got this nice, cool little shape contour that looks a little warped, actually. It's not warped. So I'm gonna have to stick it back in the oven, do it again. But it's mostly. 
the uh, contour that I want it. It's good. I'm gonna have to cut it, trim it down to size a little bit too. So if the wax paper was a bad idea. Does this stuff come off? Oh yeah. I just rub it off with my thumb. It's not even Yeah. It's just paper residue or something. It just comes right off. Nothing to be concerned with folks. Um, yeah, but this is cool. So I'm gonna have to do this again uh, somehow. It, I don't know if uh, maybe I'm gonna need two pieces of metal bent to the same thing to kind of contour. But you see, like, if you look like this, this side over here kind of doesn't curve right. Maybe I should have done it with my hands while it was uh, while it was hot with the gloves. Um, maybe that would have helped out a little bit. But I mean, it's not beyond uh, beyond fixing. I could, I could still. I mean, that, this is cool again. I could bend it. I could heat it up and bend it all I want. Really, it's not destroyed. So anyway, but that's it for this uh, for this video. I'm I'm not gonna keep going while I try to repair this because I, I do want to use both hands so that I don't have to do this again. Um, and I don't have anybody here to video me right now. So yeah, this this is it for now. But I mean, this is this is working out really great. There's not any bubbles that I've seen with heating it up with a lighter. All of this stuff, all of this residue here, they're not like the plastic bubbling up type bubbles. So it's good. It's just, uh, yeah, really nice. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, um, like, all that good, you know, YouTube stuff that you YouTube watchers do, and. 